Why is it? What are you, are you talking about? The, uh, okay, I thought you were talking about John. Uh, you talking about Jonathan? Yeah. I Jonathan, still think he was wrong. You know, he very much is keeping track of I think you know he was all wrong, of this. Though. I know. Well, yeah, look, like yeah. you say, it, it still remains to be seen. Oh, you sound terrific. Yeah. Are you running a fever? I was. What are you down? What are you down to now? I don't know. I haven't taken it. Because you know, at night it's higher. I know. I'm going to the doctor tomorrow. I, All right. I, this actually happened yesterday. Okay, and it listen. Like really hard. I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you Ellen's remedy. I told this to Felix last week when he was feeling under the weather. You did? I forgot after Put I had the remedy. Put on a pair of sweats. Make a hot cup of tea and put a shot of whiskey in it, okay? And sip it down and finish it with a little honey. And sweat like hell. And sweat like hell and go to sleep. That'll knock you out. Well, that's the the thing. I've been sweating. I have been sweating. Wait a sec. We're we're not on the... We're still not on the... Well, yes, we are. We're not. What happened? I don't know. It seems like it's erratic, but I may be wrong. It seems to, uh, well, seems almost delayed, Spreaker. You know, I, on the audio, I could understand, you know, a, a five-second, you know, hesitation. Yeah. Like they do with the news and everything, but... Uh, well, that, yeah, but that wouldn't matter to us. No, I know. And then, well, the, the one that would... Ira, how do we sound right now? Like gangsters or what? Hey. Anyway, uh, uh, you know. Well, you want to get Ira excited? You talk about uh, baseball season in 28 days. Yay! You're a big Yankee fan. Yay, bring on the boys. And Ira just loves Joe Girardi. You want to get his dander up? Talk about Joe Joe Girardi. Who cares about Joe? He doesn't, that's for sure. (laughs) If it was up to Ira, he would have fired him years ago. Or at least not renewed his contract. Hmm. But then again, uh, he's but a Met. Tell, last a, year, he signed a two-year contract, okay? This is the second year. If he doesn't start producing this year, he I'm sure he's going to have to look elsewhere. You know. Hey, listen, no guarantees in this life. There never were. Oh, before I forget, not to change the subject, but I think I have to tell you guys, now that I'm sick, I can't go, but tomorrow... I have a party. I was supposed to go to a party. My godfather's 65th birthday, and it's at Harrow. Oh, my oh goodness. My Holy cow. And I'm missing it. You Can should I... ask them to bring you home a doggy bag. Leftovers. A, a doggy bag from Harold's is enough to feed you for a week. Josh I and I know. were talking about Harold's today. Oh. Everybody so talks good. about Harold's. We really yeah. have to go back. Yeah. You and I. Okay. My well, Matt my will... liver? Oh, you That's know you're invited. Me. Well, you're invited, of course. Oh, okay. <laughs> Just checking. Don't That's really something to look Harold forward to. There. Not even. Huh? I said I live a half hour from there. That's Not right. Even. Yeah. You could go anytime. Yeah. It's about 20. It's really about 20 minutes. From my house. That far? So you're at the tail end of Staten Island. Yeah, it takes me, literally takes me five minutes to get to the outer bridge. Yeah, you're like real close to 440. Yeah. Oh, then that's... You're like what, Victory Boulevard? Bradley or Victory Boulevard? I'm both. I actually take, sometimes I take Bradley... When I get off the expressway, I take Bradley home. Hmm. I don't gotcha. like to take Victory because 
there's a lot of traffic, especially when the school when the school is open. Yeah, but it, I tell got, you though, they got it's CSI. it's a real schlep though when you come from Brooklyn because you know you're traveling all of the Staten Island Expressway and and that thing never really moves well, even though it's four lanes no, no, now. No. No, is it four or six it's lanes? They widened it. It's gotten better. Okay, so it's it's so what they, five or they, six they lanes? They widened it. They're widening. There's no construction right now, so it's moving okay. Oh, that's that's surprising because oh, yeah, no, the last time I was on it, on it, there's always construction on it. No, what right now. On it, a long time ago. No, I said right. they. No, they've. I, I drove on them recently a couple of times, and it's been not great, but much better. And there's no construction yeah, rules, so... It's, yeah, it's, it's gotten better. But I used to... I not know how to drive on that expressway. I used to actually... Stay, uh, stay all to the right. Stay what? Stay all to the right. Stay to your right. What, you should stay to the right? Yeah, that's when what you're she's saying. you on the expressway, you stay to the right. Call oh. Move faster on the right side. Especially during rush hour because you have the bus lane. I well, forgot the name of the road, but I used to go along the rim of uh, Staten Island going south. There's a road that goes around. Highland Boulevard? Is that the one? It I don't know. It could be that. It could be Richmond Terrace. No, it basically it that goes road. along. It, it goes along the water because I, I used to go there, and then I used to go into uh, the soccer fields by the water. Oh, when Matt was playing travel. Yeah, but if you kept going, you'd finally you'd eventually reach uh, four forty. Just going around. Well, you and Mary used to take Alex to. Uh, you had some pictures of uh, you know by the water there. Alex. Yeah. Is that now? No. Are you sure? I'm positive. I don't even know where there's water. Oh, that you, I... Might be, you might be talking about Father Capadano. Which one? Because it's Father Capadano Boulevard. Yeah, I think so. That's where all the that's where the beaches, the boardwalk, the soccer the soccer field is Miller Field. Yeah, that's the one. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. That's a nice way to go. Yeah, but that's like... Father Capadano doesn't all go all the way down. Once you hit Miller Field, you have to turn, and then you take Highland Boulevard, and then Highland Boulevard will take you all the way down to the other end of the uh, island. It'll take you to Tottenville. Yeah, I don't remember exactly, but I know I've done it. Yeah. I've, I've, I've actually had a time where the GPS made me get off... That's how traffic, bad traffic was. Wouldn't even let me go on 440. Made me get right off. Well, why did you get on 440? I was, I was down, I just came over the outer bridge crossing. Oh, 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 okay. And it wouldn't, you know, I was... Yeah, 440 uh, could be very, very tricky at times. Because it's only a two-lane... Uh, well, it starts out at like a two lane and then it opens up after Victory Boulevard. But um, during rush hour, you do not want to be on that highway at all. No, the, the, that day 440 was backed up right into the Staten Island Expressway. The Staten Island Expressway was all backed up that day, so, you know. Well, if you don't know the back roads to Staten Island, you pretty much... Like you would have no choice but to stay in traffic. Well, that's but why. Yeah, I, that now, well, that well, now the, is a complete circle. Yeah, you you can. I've done that. You know, I I follow the signs sometimes when I'm off, and they you know, tell you you know, follow the signs to get back to go on the uh, you know on, the, on the, an expressway, and you wind up you go around in circles, right. and you wind up where you started, entering where you started. Really crazy. Right. And now no. they're doing construction at the Staten Island Mall. Yeah. Is no. our, is our chat room open? Building? Anybody talking? They're, what? They're also building a new mall. Oh, yeah? 
Do you know the restaurant called, Gr side. yeah, I think it's called Grandma's. What's Grandma's? There's a restaurant, I believe it's called Grandma's. Grandma's Kitchen, I think it's called. Angelina's Kitchen? Hmm? There's no, a new no. restaurant that just opened up. By no, the no, morning. no, this has been around for a little while. I believe it's called Grandma's. I don't know anything about a Grandma's Kitchen. No, I've never heard of it. It's a restaurant where different grandmas every day come in and cook Italian food. You gotta be kidding! Fantastic. <laughs> the food is fantastic. And this is here in Staten Island. Well, old world it's recipe. Only seconds. What? The show's almost over, kiddo. The show's over. Well, it doesn't matter. Oh, look at that! No, you, all right. Well, you, Alisa, you, you've, ne you've never heard of it. Thank you for calling. No, I've never heard of it. It's north, north of. Uh, the expressway. It's uh, almost an industrial. Looks look, look almost like an industrial area there. Very oh, sixty seconds. I think it was Grandma's kitchen. We went there and we've had dishes. You know, we, uh, Mary went there. She loved it. She just loved the place. Michelle's gone there a couple of times. She, for Michelle to oh, drive all the way to Staten Island just to get a bite to eat. You know, so mm -hmm. yeah, I'm gonna see. Well, well, Michelle knows the name of the place. Michelle knows the place. Did she have a birthday in one of those places? Yes, she, she always looks to find different. Yes, yeah, she went there for a birthday, and she just loved it. It's not a big place, and the old there's an old grandmother there cooking. Ten seconds. I'm not talking about like. Uh, you know, a grandma, and you know, these days that look like they're in the fifties and look. Now good. these are like women in their sixties and seventies, eighties. Huh? Yeah, they look Italian. Right off old. the boat. They look Italian yeah. and older. And I guess I think it's every night or every, and they have different menus from the different uh, grandmas where the specialties uh, are. Interesting. I'm surprised you've never heard of it. Never heard of it. Anyway, listen, you get better. Okay, thank I you for will. calling in. You sound like you're getting worse, so get off the phone. Goodbye. Get out and, of here. Okay. And uh, Feel better. I will say good night, uh, loyal friends. I'm sorry uh, I got on late, but uh, at least I made it. It's now or never. All righty. Well, uh, she didn't say that was it. No, it is it. It's it for us. I'm going to play one more song. I don't care. Well, you can do that. I'm making coffee. I uh, no. Elisa? She yeah. Heard. Oh, yeah. you still here. I'm playing, I'm playing one more song because... Uh, have a cup of coffee? Yeah, why not? I'm not playing. One more song. Let's see what we got. We didn't, I didn't think too much of High Five. I didn't like the rush, the, uh, the Chinese. I didn't like the much. Chinese one. But it was just funny listening to uh, they did listen to the Chinese, you know. You never think of them playing that kind of music. Yeah. How are we doing on the delivery? Okay. I'm gonna. This is uh, Michael P. Cullen. Did we ever listen to it before? Does that name sound familiar at all? From Australia? From Australia? He's playing a song called Cha 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 de Amor. Doesn't sound like it to be uh, English, but who knows? Let's see what he sounds like. <laughs> Thank you. 